Hey there, gentlemen, Dr. Jocelyn here. Today, we're diving into a topic that's often whispered about, rarely discussed, and sometimes even laughed off, but I promise you, it's fascinating and surprisingly impactful. We're talking about intimate behaviors that most men don't fully understand and how they affect women's minds, bodies, and relationships. Now, before we go further, I want you to do something simple. Hit that like button, comment down below where you're watching from, and subscribe if you want more science-backed insights into health, intimacy, and human psychology. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. So why are we even talking about this? Because understanding these hidden aspects of intimacy isn't just curiosity. It's a doorway to better relationships, emotional connection, and even health. Here's the first thing to clear up. There are so many myths floating around about sexual behavior and women's biology. You've probably heard your share, right? Some of it's outright fiction, some partially true, but there's a lot we don't talk about scientifically. For example, did you know that some intimate acts are not just about pleasure or reproduction, but actually involve a complex biochemical exchange between partners? That's right. Our bodies are constantly communicating, even at a microscopic level, an understanding that can completely change the way you approach intimacy. I'm Dr. Jocelyn, a physician with five years of experience specializing in men's and women's health. Over the years, I've seen firsthand how knowledge real science can empower men and improve relationships. And today, we're going to explore some truly surprising science behind intimacy. We'll look at what happens in the body when certain biological fluids interact, how that can affect mood, sleep, immune response, and even long-term health outcomes. And we'll do it in a way that's responsible, clear, and grounded in research. No judgment, no fear, just facts. So let's break it down. There are seven key facts about women and intimacy that most men don't realize. I'll explain them biologically, emotionally, and practically so you understand not just what happens, but why it matters. It's not just physical, it's chemical. First, many men assume intimacy is purely about sex or pleasure. But here's the fascinating part. Certain intimate acts involve chemical transfers that can influence mood and bonding. Biologically, women can absorb hormones like oxytocin, serotonin, and even melatonin during intimacy. These are the same chemicals that regulate trust, happiness, and sleep. Emotionally. This is why emotional connection feels stronger after intimacy. It's literally chemistry at work. Practically, understanding this can help you appreciate why quality time, closeness, and trust aren't just nice to have, but integral to a satisfying relationship. Two, the power of oxytocin, the bonding hormone. Oxytocin is often called the love hormone for a reason. It's released during hugging, breastfeeding, and yes, sexual activity. Biologically, oxytocin strengthens social bonds and fosters trust. Emotionally, it helps women feel safe and connected, which in turn makes them more open, communicative, and affectionate. Practically, gentle, attentive intimacy, listening, connecting, and being mindful can boost oxytocin and deepen your relationship beyond the bedroom. Three, mood matters, serotonin and stress. Serotonin isn't just a feel-good chemical. It directly affects mood regulation, anxiety, and even perception of stress. Biologically, certain intimate interactions can influence serotonin levels, which may have subtle antidepressant effects. Emotionally, women who feel emotionally secure and connected experience less stress, which improves relationship satisfaction. Practically, small, consistent gestures of intimacy, not grand or expensive, can enhance daily emotional well-being. Four, sleep and recovery. Melatonin, the sleep hormone, plays a surprisingly big role. During intimacy, small amounts can enter the bloodstream, potentially promoting relaxation and better sleep. Biologically, even a tiny boost in melatonin can help regulate circadian rhythms and improve rest. Emotionally, better sleep equals improved mood and patience qualities every relationship benefits from. Practically, prioritize intimacy as part of a healthy nightly routine. It's not just enjoyable, it supports restorative sleep. Five immune system priming. Here's a fascinating one. Long-term exposure to a partner's biological fluids can help the immune system recognize foreign proteins, supporting tolerance during pregnancy. Biologically, this concept, called immunological tolerance, 
may reduce risks of complications like preeclampsia. Emotionally, women feel safer and more supported in committed, trusting relationships. Practically, building trust, consistency, and intimacy over time isn't just emotionally valuable, it may have real biological effects. Six, risk awareness is crucial. Let's get real. While there are potential benefits, there are also serious risks. Sexually transmitted infections can be transmitted orally, and exposure to toxins from lifestyle habits can affect your partner. Biologically, STIs, bacterial infections, and rare allergic reactions can have serious consequences. Emotionally, trust and honesty are foundational. Without them, intimacy can become stressful or unsafe. Practically, always discuss sexual health openly, practice safe intimacy, and encourage regular screenings. Knowledge is protection. Seven, lifestyle matters. Finally, the health and habits of both partners directly affect the safety and quality of intimacy. Diet, medications, alcohol, and overall wellness play a role in biochemical safety. Biologically, toxins, alcohol, and drugs can alter the chemical composition of fluids affecting your partner. Emotionally, feeling confident about your health enhances comfort, trust, and desire. Practically, Healthy routines aren't just good for you, they protect your partner and strengthen the bond. So, what should you do with this information? Here's a simple, actionable plan for older men. Communicate openly, talk with your partner about health, intimacy, and boundaries. Transparency builds trust. Prioritize health, eat well, exercise, manage stress, and avoid substances that compromise your system. Be mindful in intimacy, focus on connection, emotional presence, and gradual bonding. Regular checkups, screening for STIs, heart health, and other wellness markers is non-negotiable. Support your partner's wellness. Encourage mutual health and shared routines. Remember, it's not about perfection. It's about consistent, small actions that compound over time. Men, I want you to take a deep breath and internalize this. Age is not the end of vitality, intimacy, or meaningful connection. The way you engage with your partner can enhance confidence, emotional closeness, and mutual health. Even small changes like prioritizing sleep, trust, and communication can have profound effects on daily life. You're not broken. You're not behind. You're simply equipped with new knowledge that can transform your relationships and your sense of self. So, gentlemen, take this as an invitation, not a prescription. Be curious, stay informed, and approach intimacy with respect care, and confidence. Science shows us that connection isn't just emotional, it's biological. Understanding it empowers you to make choices that bring comfort, freedom, and joy. If you found this video helpful, take a moment to like it, drop a comment sharing your thoughts or experiences, and subscribe for more science-based insights that respect your intelligence and your life. Turn on notifications so you never miss an exploration into the fascinating psychology and health of human behavior. Remember, it's never too late to strengthen bonds, regain vitality, and enjoy the richness of life. Take care of your body, your mind, and your relationships. You deserve it. Thank you for joining me. I'm Dr. Jocelyn, and I'll see you in the next video.